Why, hey there, YouTube, it's Michelle. I know, I've been gone for a minute. We have some crafty catching up to do. I wanted to come to you to share. I have been working on my September daily. Um, daily, <laughs> actually. But just haven't had an opportunity to video. So this Saturday, I had a training, and the training was canceled. It was an all-day training, so that means all of a sudden now I have a free Saturday. Incredible. I'm going to go into the office for a couple hours, but um, yeah, looking forward to coming back. Uh, there is uh, a couple of projects I'd like to do, and so anyway, let's get into it. It'll be my, my 15 minutes will be over pretty soon. So first off, let me share with you my September Mission Inspiration so this is a Facebook group, uh, Mike Deacon. I'm sure there's some other folks that uh, are kind of over Mission Inspiration, but um, Gentleman Mike has on his YouTube channel, he gives you the, the hints and the clues, and then you watch him make his inspiration for the month. And I actually haven't watched it. I'm just so late. Normally I try to do this the first weekend. And that just has not happened. So anyhow, here we are, three weeks in, and I'm just now getting to this. But uh, this is featuring um, a plus-size model. Her name is Sabina Carlson. And I just, uh, the background is, there were some magazine pages. So her picture was in the magazine, so I thought I'd just do that. But anyway, so that's my postcard. This is a 4 by 6 postcard. And so it's already a challenge to do the mission inspiration and I added the little thing of doing postcards on a postcard size so anywho there it is so you can see all the layering and textures and things that uh, were part of the prompts for this month alrighty let's show you next the September daily oh my gosh it is chock full this sucker is so fat and uh, remember, our little hint is you put some ties on the outside of the signature. Not the cover, but on the outside. You, I guess you could do the cover too. But anyway, kind of holds it together. Keeps everything from falling out. So let's get in uh, to Mission is my um, September Daily. I want to show you my little toy. This is my pap paper ring. And I love it. So all of my pictures this month are done using this. And it's an app you download and the Bluetooth with your, your phone. And I take pictures on my phone and then um, print them out. And so it's fun. They're black and white. I had I found out that uh, you have to watch the glue you use there. I'm using some sticky back uh, paper for mine that I purchased at Amazon. And so that way they just, all of the pictures and writings just stick which is awesome so let me show you uh, September so you get in and I've got a tip in here and I'll probably talk about the end of the month I've got a couple of extra September calendars kind of tucked up in there and oops here we go so that you can see so we got our first page with our September calendar and open up and you'll just see so again the paper ring um, and I may not be pronouncing it incorrectly but anyway it does black and white pictures obviously but I am just loving it so these were some cards I made at the beginning of the month had several birthdays and parties that I attended just some fun shots journaling um, Looks cute. It makes puzzle pieces. Is that not fun or what? So I've been having a kick just learning how to use this little gadget. It does lists. Isn't that ex fun? Does to do lists and things. So remember, I actually made this travels this uh, TN insert uh, last year. And it was just sitting, and I wanted to um, finish my collection. I've used all the other colors 
in the six and wanted to save this one for autumn. Let's spread and then some of Tim Holtz new paper dolls. Mm. Yeah. So just really super fun journaling, you know. Uh, these are some pictures. This was from Daphne's diary. So just a combo, a hodgepodge. You know, usually in the evening, I'm I'm toast, so uh, not a whole lot of deep <laughs> thoughts, but you know, just kind of ideas of what's going on. Inspiration from other uh, IGS, I mean IG people. Um, yeah, this was. Um, I'm also doing the ultimate autumn prompts. Is that right? Yes, with Barbara. Oh, here, the name is up here, Michelle. Ultimate Autumn Prompts 2019. And so this was one of the spreads from the prompts using fall colors. Just fun things that I've done. My daughter started a blog. Uh, she's a marketing student, and one of the projects that they had to do was a blog. So she is visiting coffee shops in the DC metropolitan area and they've been then giving tips and so she had an introduction she talked about um, what you need to do kind of to prepare for school after summer um, and then um, I think that was hot girl can stay in hot or something and then she did one on what was the next one on that was on preparation Anyway, her last one was on roommates, which was hilarious. So she had some, she's had some pretty interesting experiences. Here's one another prompt, mushrooms. And here's one. And this was just using a pack of ephemera that had a, um, you know, autumn theme. And so the seed packet came and I just journaled. Um, what I like about autumn. That was another one of the prompts from the ultimate prompts. Yeah, so let's see, where am I at today? Yep, yeah, so this is kind of where I am right now. So that's it. I do want to show you this is I'm going to share with you. This is one of the items I made initially for the TN and Eva, who is Bohemian Crafter, uh, showed us how to make hidden journal spots out of envelopes. So you take an envelope, you cut it in half, I mean, you you know, decorate it, cut it in half, and then she shows how you put a journaling card in, and it's attached by two ribbon pieces to keep it from going, but you have hidden journaling. So it closes up like this, and then there's a couple of pockets. I put them... Um, to close up and hide the ribbon I made a little border down here and everything so check out Eva it's fun and then I've, I've done it so that it can tip and I'm gonna put it in here I just haven't done that yet so I am getting ready to do my journaling for yesterday and I am going to use I took and used the paper, paper I don't know how you pronounce this y'all paper ring it's paper and then ang, so I'm going to say paper ang. I hope that's right. And so I did a picture showing me um, after I did the prompts. So those were all of the paints I used. I used a stencil. I used um, some metal pieces I had. So there's that. Here I got to do my little journaling about the page. And then um, an up close of the page. So I am going to try to create a page spread using this and uh, show it to you when we come back the next time. Everybody have a wonderful Saturday. Uh, feels good to be able to be at my crafty desk here. I've got company coming in December. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, don't get anybody get dizzy. So I've got the paper. These are all the tablets I'm using currently. But look at this pile on the floor. And that stuff I've brought up from the basement. <laughs> and 
I haven't taken it back down yet. Oh my gosh. And then see over here is my journal cabinet. So it's got all my journals. So the top shelf for journals that are completed. The middle one are ones that are um, I'm hoarding. And then I have some other goodies. So I got some work to do before December. All right, y'all. Have a happy Saturday. We'll see you soon. Bye.